for what we're doing today, we're going to be jumping back into the UI. And I don't know uh, really how far we'll get on this, but what I'd like to do is sort of, you know, really just figure out what happens over in this window. This panel is going to be probably a system of menus that you open up to let you configure things and see things. We'll probably want to take something like once it's selected over here and kind of give context as menus here. And then maybe once you select one of these things, right, this would move into this area. And then if the thing is really complicated, then you have sort of tabs for that. So we're gonna have to figure out, I think the, f the first thing is like, well, let's try to get as many of these items figured out as we can, like, like a pane like that. Uh, and then we'll try to figure out inside of those, what are some of these things? And it's probably gonna be a list that we just kind of keep adding to and keep refining. Well, I guess we could just kind of run through it. Like it's just gonna be all these different pieces. Uh, we're definitely gonna have like configuration or setup. Um, we'll probably have something that's dedicated to DNS. This is the configuration right here, this box file. So configuration may extend like into things like local staging and production. So you might even have something that says like box file or engine or something like that, the setup. I don't know. But then you might have very specific configuration for local, very specific for staging, very specific production. I don't know, would this all be one thing? Like, could you have something as status? Um, could you have something as launch controls? This really, it, you know, it really, let me just start like running through things because you'll have logs, terminals. So that's gonna break out like that. And this is gonna break out. This is where those tabs on the top, I think, make sense. Okay, so let's start. Like, yeah, let's start moving through it. That could work. It'll give us a lot of flexibility too. If we if we kind of just use this contained list, we kind of buy ourselves a lot of freedom in the future because we're not we're not painting ourselves into a corner. If we wanted to add more things or subtract things, we can. Uh, what's ambitious? Reddit. We're build. We're we're doing Reddit. Is that gonna bug you, Noah? There. Ooh, something's happening here. I can't, whoa, whoa. What are we doing here? What is this? What? <laughs> it's like I'm uncovering a secret message. I must know, what is the secret? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, okay. Are we okay now? Billion dollar company. Well, hundred billion dollar. This is easily like a ten billion dollar app. Look at what it does. One of these days, Adobe. One of these days. Oh, geez. It just is completely pooped the bed. Oh, oh. what can we reveal? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? How does this even happen? What about this? Yeah, there we go. This is a very, <laughs> the most minimal UI you could have. You just hide everything from the user until they want to use it. <laughs> what did this thing come back? <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, I at least need to get the save going. Okay, I think it's been saved. I think. Let's just close it and open it up again. What a crazy little bug that was. Okay, so I think, like, yeah, the big bear, like this This is kind of good to give ourselves something up here. We might have better luck with a different color or maybe just the same color in that break because sort of what I'm thinking is that this would be the tab bar. So I just want the gradient to kind of give me a little bit of space of separation without having to do too much else. Wow, that's just, this is just next level buggy. Look at that R. <laughs> <laughs> I think Illustrator had a stroke. All right. So if we have the configuration, uh, configuration exists in three, three or four states, right? You have your, your setup for configuration. And then we have like the thing that's specifically for local, specifically for staging and specifically for production. Okay. So once we're kind of like into a, uh, this global setup dealio, 
this is what you're going to be setting up these pieces of the app now this is yaml and yaml is like a markup they don't i don't i think they say it's not a markup language but it is essentially what yaml is is it's the equivalent of like a named array this will actually format back out into something that looks like this and we can extract this pretty easily and you just sort of say well that contains this and this contains this and then it looks like this you know and so it's like it, it it's it's very easy to manipulate these files because they convert right into this and right back out and i think this whole time too we probably want to give like an ejection button to hit the file right like an advanced mode almost yeah let's do the simple version first but Matt, you're gonna make it so it's like so easy for people to set this up. Oh, I want Ruby or I want Node or whatever, and just select it and then drop down through all these little options. So we'll show that saying Ruby. So just like that, you just tap that and change your engine. So there's other things like the cache directories. Okay, so let's see how those get set up. Ooh, and you know what might be really cool? Yeah, yeah. Not like this though because we're going to have a bunch of space over here i think it's like reasonable that we can contextualize the existing documentation that we already have got so when you're like hovering something you get the little explanation on what it how it works and keeps you inside of the app that could be pretty cool so cache directories okay so if this is like the one extra one Ooh, why even do an extra? Why even do an extra one? Why even be that guy? Uh, let's just add a button that's like add. We'll use the universal sign for adding a thing. Yeah, that's looking good. Like that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's our next one up? Extra packages. Um, build triggers. Changes to these files will trigger a new build the next time a new build is required. We do an autocomplete or we could do a file finder or both, why not both? But that's definitely something that takes place in all the environments. I think like, the biggest thing I want to be careful about when we're building this is not giving ourselves like the stupid work where we'd say something like, oh, if they said that they were using Rails, then we'll make sure that this also has a thing for bundle install, right? No. You've got to have at least some freaking competency. <laughs> like, we're not going to hold, we can't hold your hand through everything in a V1. There's going to be a couple things that you got to do yourself. I have a limit. Back to this thing. We have everything because the file system launch, if it's going to take place in local, we'll make it a thing that you can, you can mess around with in local. Um, the guided and advanced setups will only exist for global setup. And this local thing, uh, we're gonna go back and extract a few things that would only take place in local, and stick them here. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's sort of the dealio. Yeah, guys, I will. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll see you in Discord or whatever. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by.